Dear students, welcome to online learning. Today, we will be learning civics for class 7th. Chapter number 1 on equality. As we all know that India is a democratic country and equality is the soul of Indian democracy. In this chapter, we will learn about equality, which is also an important part of our preamble. What is equality? An ideal state where no kind of discrimination or inequalities exist is equality. Why equality is important in a democracy? It is because it is a basic human right. It helps in ensuring wholesome development of every individual without any biases. For a democratic and secular country like India, it is all the more important. What do you think? Do everyone in India is equal? In India, every adult who are 18 years of age and above have the right to vote, irrespective of their caste, religion, color, race, economic status and educational conditions. This principle of equality is called as universal adult franchise, which is an important feature of democracy. The concept of universal adult franchise is based on the idea of political equality. Let us understand this by the story of Kanta. Kanta Devi is a poor lady who works as a maid in Sahib's house. In the early morning of an election day, she went to polling booth to cast her vote, where she saw everybody was standing in a line irrespective of their color, creed, caste, religion, region, including her sahib and his wife. So, here everybody was given same respect as different categories of people were standing in the same line like traders, teacher, student, etc. But equality is not just right to vote. There are many people whose living and working conditions are not equal. There are huge disparities that need to be worked around. Workers who is working as a domestic helper is not given as an equal working condition as a person who is working on a professional technology. People in India experience inequality in different ways. Caste system is one of the examples of inequalities present in our country. Some urban Indian think that people have stopped believing in the concept of caste system, which is not correct. As in the case of Om Prakash Valmiki, 
who was a famous Dalit writer, wrote an autobiography, Juthan, in which he talks about his experience of growing up as a Dalit boy. He was treated unequally by his teachers and students. He was made to sit far away from other students on the floor in class. Sometimes he was also asked to sweep the school and the playground while all other students were studying. He was sometimes also asked to sweep the doors and windows of the class. In another case, Mr. and Mrs. Ansari, who were Muslims, were also being treated unequally. Many people refused to rent them a flat because of their different religion. They were also the people exploited one. So, religion is another factor based on which people discriminate and treat people unequally. Rest will continue in the next class. Thank you.